didn't kill me, so I'll shove it down your gullet. <laughs> that I won't live to see the look on your face when Gondor falls and all manswine are slaughtered like cattle. In the Great Hall of Minas Ethel, we didn't just safeguard the treasures of our past, we kept our present there as well, an archive of all our official correspondence with the capital. I used to file away missives from Minas Tirith after my father had read them. This was a weekly task at first, but as our surroundings grew more dangerous, scrolls like this one became more rare. I wonder whether there were promises of aid that the orcs intercepted, plans for relief that we never saw. The workings of government used to parchment. Minas Eagle didn't need parchment. It needed reinforcements.
When Aena didn't return from his confrontation with the Witch King, word of his fall spread like wildfire across Gondor. The Witch King's forces were regrouping, rapidly seizing lands once under Aena's rule. Some regions fell so quickly that letters sent by the first ruling steward of Gondor, Mardil, never reached their destinations. For generations we stored the unread letters here, destined to remain forever sealed. We know those lost Gondorians will never claim their letters, but we keep them to honor their memory. I wonder what will become of the last few letters I sent on my father's behalf. You are not tempted to read the letters? No need. I know the hearts of my people, so I know what they say. I can show you how to conquer Mordor, Ezra. Hope you learn something useful. You're going to need it. Clumsy <laughs> out! Out of position! <laughs> <laughs> actually trying to be clever. Do not mistake a bag of tricks for cleverness. Those were trifles. Gimmickry. In those days, our triumphs on the battlefield were many. Mordor was ours to claim. Your glories made me believe we were invincible, but they blinded me to the true danger. Sauron plotting in the shadows. 
Now I shall wield the light and burn the shadows from Mordor. is purported to be the creation of hobbits, a sort of halfling that lives beyond our reckoning in the north. I wonder at the strange notion of full-grown adults who scarcely reach my waist in height. But after what I've seen in Mordor, a hobbit would be a welcome sort of strange. Though I don't think a hobbit would last long in Mordor. Now all I need is some pipeweed, which you won't find for leagues in any direction. Gondorians called Minas Ethel home, but we cannot claim to have built it. That honor belongs to exiles from the fabled realm of Numenor beyond the Sandering Seas. Wondrous architects, they fashioned this city of marble to reflect the moonlight and glow with an inner warmth. But the city's beauty and light drew the ire of the Witch King, who has long sought revenge on Gondor. The Numenorean's knack for towers rivals the elves. Who do you think taught them? They were but precocious students. Oh! 
have mundane objects as we do, for even their common containers and vessels seem uncommonly fine. This artifact was once part of a table setting given as a gift centuries ago. The other parts were broken when one of Mordor's many ground tremors knocked them off a shelf. How I wish my predecessors had saved the broken shards. That's a puzzle I'd like to reassemble. Elven things deserve to last. What sort of feasts do the elves have? State the affairs, not as raucous as orcs or men. try and make I got him now, you blade! Didn't block that! abound with drakes, lesser versions of the great dragons who supposedly slumber under the earth. Yet here in Mordor, I've seen them with my own eyes, though from a safe distance, and they are nothing like the storybooks say. They are lethal hunters of the air, rapacious and cruel, apt to torment their prey before eating it. This scale, taken from a drake carcass we found in a grog cave, gives some sense of their size and how strong they must be to carry such weight aloft. <laughs> Scale of a drake or a full-fledged dragon? Certainly a drake. Dragons take better care of their scales. said, a proper war banner has two roles, to direct and to inspire. 
In the chaos of battle, he'd say, you won't march wrong if you keep your flag in sight. Now the orcs have cast down our banners, but Gondor's flag still inspires, even if I see it only in my mind's eye. So long as one Gondorian lives, the white tree still stands tall. The flag of our people. Long may it fly. Concern yourself more with the towers it's flying from. <laughs> I will teach you the meaning of the word savage. will be the last thing you see. Oh! 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 Oh!
Not back! Get away from me! Shout if you say anything! I'm hearing things. The wicked world of men burns! Chop him to bits! I am your Now you go! You've done it! You think you know it, savages? You have no idea! Your arrow gave me this scar, but you'll find it difficult to fire another without any hands! 
delay your eventual death. Your suffering will be delicious and unending. show you how to conquer Mordor, as long as it keeps Gondor safe. In life, I had no equal among elven jewelsmiths and artists. If I could conceive it, I could bring it into being. Forging rings of power seems reckless, 
To those whose petty fears overcome their vision, a true creator accepts no limitations on invention. Idril will not stand by as her father is held by the Uruks. No. She is a warrior and she will do what is necessary. Idril will not wait while the Uruks have her father. Her youth is her strength and her weakness. My father's being held in the war chief's camp, but we were spotted before we could attempt a rescue. Baranor wants to wait till daybreak, hit them with a small company. But you want to go back now? Alone? That is the way to suicide. If I wait till dawn, my father will be dead. Don't say don't go. Say don't go alone. The Uruks we captured last winter told stories of a grave walker. Half man, half wraith, a demon. And what do you believe? I believe we'd be lucky to have him. Baranor and I overheard the Uruks. They took my father to a nearby encampment. Gone 
Gondor has faced the Witch King before, and he's had a vendetta against Minas Ethel ever since. This coin depicts the victor, Aena, last king of Gondor. Generations ago, Aena led an army that routed the Witch King and sent his army fleeing to Angmar. But our victory turned hollow when our king grew prideful. The Witch King challenged Aena to single combat, and Aena rode eastward from Minas Tirith, never to be seen again. It takes a nation to defeat such evil, not just one man. Erano, he who fought the Witch King. Twice, because he did not finish the task the first time. Destroyed three of our war beasts, he did. Just let him try that here. <laughs> Our brothers, we must free them. Idril, we must move carefully. You have taken a great risk, my lady. Thank you. I know I heard something right. <laughs> I know it. Careful, Idril. We must leave this foul place. Come. We must escape. Stop back here while there's good looting to be had. The Dark Lord will punish them all. You heard about the fight in the arena. Murdering by one legion of all. I am in your debt, Ranger. Thank you. Nicely done! Many thanks. Not to see you many things. Each city in Gondor administers its own justice in all but the most important cases. And in my lifetime, we've always handled legal matters in Minas Ethel. When I was a girl, I recall my father being much occupied with mercantile disputes and other legal affairs. Then the orcs came and matters of justice yielded to matters of survival. The gavel. Always seemed an odd symbol for justice. What is justice, if not a hammer to beat down the proud nail? My lady, they've taken... Thank you. We 
need to clear the camp before we go to Castamere. Quickly, then. We don't get to choose, but we can still fight. You are your mother's daughter. Come, the reinforcements will be arriving soon. Quickly, before more arrive. Father, we... Quickly! Father, their numbers have swelled. They are preparing for a final push. More will come. What do you think the amputator does with all the limbs he chops? Meat's always on the menu for him. General, the seeing stone. I can use it. Lantier, it's safe for it is. The armies of Gondor will come soon. You're safe. Good. Come. We've been waiting for Gondor for weeks. No one has come. Can you really use the stone to defeat them? Yes. Then I will find where it's hidden. We must return to Shilob. She can show us the location of the Palantir. The Palantir is here. The war is here. We must weaken Sauron's hold on Minas Ethel. 